Okay, let me switch it off. How are you? Hello, Eleanor. Oh, hello. Yeah. Would you like a tea? Coffee? Chai latte? Yeah. In fact, I've got so many really great herbals. I've got a original chai, a detox, a really nice puckers. Do you like the puckers? No, no, honestly, I'm fine. I mean, I've been on visits all day. I've literally had about six pints of tea today. Do you mind if I make myself a quick espresso? Is that all right? No, go ahead. Fourth espresso of the day. Hooray for caffeine. It's looking great in here. Yeah, well, um, I've got a cleaner coming this afternoon, oh. so... Uh, yeah, that's the last thing you need to be worrying about, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's just like, you know, I mean, the problem is now I'm cleaning for the cleaner. So, how have you been? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm really good. It's, yeah, things are... Yeah, it's great, you know, it's really good. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty shit, actually. It's been pretty tricky. It's been shit? Mm. What's happened? Well, you know, there's just been a lot of misbehaviour. Thomas has mm. um, really been naughty, not doing anything I ask him to do. And, uh, yeah, and, um, you know, I've been trying to sort of do one-on-one -on -one times, you know, getting a bit of beanbag time. And I'm, I'm doing like you say, I sit him down and we have... Um, we have eye contact and, um, you know, we talk about issues and, um, uh, and you know, we understand that this is anxiety and we name it, like you suggested, and then I tell him he shouldn't be anger, anxious, he just shouldn't, you know, there's no reason for him to be anxious, and, but then I, I'm up there for quite anxious and then, of course, my boys are quite anxious and Dave's quite anxious and just one big sort of anxious household and... Uh, yeah, it's quite tricky, but ugh, I don't know. I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm ranting, yeah. No, no, honestly, it's fine. Look, mm. that's what I'm here for, Eleanor. You can rant away. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's, um, he's become quite a irritation, to be honest. Feels a bit weird to just put it out there, but yeah, I'm sort of questioning whether, um, whether, you know, whether I should you know, put this on the family, you know, whether, you know, whether I should have brought it on myself, you know, I don't feel like a mum, I just feel like a, well, B and b owner with a caffeine habit. Oh, Eleanor, don't say that. You are a fantastic mum. I mean, look at the boys, they're brilliant. What about the brain development stuff? Do you remember that we talked about with the psychologist about how Thomas's brain um, might not have developed the skills to self-regulate because of his um, past? Yeah, but then that, 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 and that and, and I understand all that. But then I end up trying. I'm regulating him through bribery and to you know he's been really badly behaved. He doesn't deserve treats. So the bribery just feels all amiss, really. And what about beanbag time? You said you tried beanbag time. What went wrong there? <sighs> Feels a bit like Jeremy Kyle with all this. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry. I haven't got Graham the psychologist to come in and help you out of your situation. <laughs> Is it all right if I just make one more espresso? I mean, you might want to check your caffeine intake so you don't actually turn into Roadrunner. <laughs> no, it's fine. Have, have another coffee. Switch it off. How are you? Hello, Eleanor. Oh, hello. Yeah. Would you like a tea? Coffee? Chai yeah. latte? In fact, I've got so many really great herbals. I've got a original chai, a detox, a really nice of puckers. Do you like the puckers? No, no. Honestly, I'm fine. I mean, I've been on visits all day. I've literally had about six pints of tea today. Do you mind if I make myself a quick espresso? Is that all right? No, go ahead. Fourth espresso of the day. Hooray for caffeine. It's looking great in here. Yeah, well, um, I've got a cleaner coming this afternoon, oh. so... Uh, yeah, that's the last thing you need to be worrying about, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's just like, you know, I mean, the problem is now I'm cleaning for the cleaner. So how are you, Eleanor? You seem a little bit jumpy. Are you OK? Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Things are, things are really great, you know. It's like, yeah, I feel, yeah, it's quite... It's good, it's good. I mean, no, to be honest, it's quite shit at the, mo at the moment, actually. A bit shit. Yeah, um, like, Thomas has been really, really tricky. Um, he's really misbehaving. He's not doing anything I asked him to do. And, 
you know, we're trying to get like one-on-one -on -one time, trying to get on the bean bag, and I'm trying to do the eye contact and talk about the issues and, um, you know, I'm, you know, I'm telling him he's anxious, naming it like he suggested, and and then I'm telling him, you know, he shouldn't be anxious, but you know, in turn, that's making me anxious. It's making the boys anxious. It's making Dave anxious. Basically, it's just one big house of anxiety. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just ranting. That's fine, honestly. It sounds really tough for you all. Mm, it is. He's hugely irritating. There, I said it. I'm feeling a bit like I maybe I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't have brought this to the family, put this on myself. You know, I don't feel like a mum, I just feel like a B&B &B owner with a caffeine habit. You don't feel like a mum? No, I don't. I just, I don't get any time for myself, you know. I, I mean, my tomato plants are dying. I'm exfoliating my skin in over a week. I haven't done yoga. Meditation's out the window. Like, I'm, you know, I don't get to see my friends. Eleanor, yeah. can I just stop you there? Because mm. you just said you don't feel like a mum. That is really tough. Yeah, yeah, it's hugely frustrating. Absolutely tiring, you know. I feel like really, I'm just feeling really disconnected from Thomas and the rest of the family. So you're not just feeling disconnected from Tom, but you're feeling disconnected from the whole family. There just hasn't any hugs anymore, you know. He's not connecting with my, me, he's not reaching out to me. And, and I, I mean, I know he's gone through a, a really bad time and he's probably dealing with a huge amount of fear. But I can't help but feel quite rejected, you know. And I'm, I sort of start, I'm really taking that personally. Mm. I really think anyone would struggle with that, Eleanor. I'm wondering, I guess, if there's something that this is bringing up for you, maybe from your past, or what's happening for you in this? <sighs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I suppose my mum used to get quite sad, and yeah, I suppose I'd just go up, you know, I'd just go off and be on my own. I'd, you know, you just cope with it. Yeah. I can see that's really upsetting for you. Yeah. But, you know, uh, I suppose it made me stronger, able to deal with stuff. But, yeah, it was, it was quite sad at times. Do you think it is connected to what's happening now? Yeah, I do think it probably does, yeah. I mean, weirdly, I know Thomas isn't my son, but... I see a lot of myself in him mm. when I was that age. So you're both just coping? Being disconnected? You as a little girl and Thomas now? Yeah. Um, and so maybe that's partly why I'm... I don't know, maybe I just deal with that by retreating into being busy. Seems to maybe that's my way of coping with it. Wow. That is a lot to cope with. No wonder you're feeling like things are really tough right now. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's not just, that's not the best place to look after him, you know? And maybe I don't need, I, I need to try not to be so sad, bring the fun back out again. But I don't think you can just stop feeling the way you're feeling. And I think maybe it's all right for you to, to just be with this feeling for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I can feel it's good for me to just, Make a connection, I suppose. I mean, you seem a lot calmer. Yeah, I feel it. <laughs> Maybe I'm, uh, I'm now ready for a gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs>